everyone, it's me again, Dr. B. And for today's video, we will talk about how to take care of your teeth and mouth. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Number one, go to your dentist regularly, ideally every six months. It is case-to-case -case basis, especially for those people who have gum diseases or yung may mga sakit po sa gilagin. Your dentist might suggest that you should visit a dental clinic every three months. Like a regular medical checkup, we should also visit a dental clinic from time to time. Kailangan din po nating alagaan ang ating oral health. Your dentist or dental hygienist are the only people who can remove plaque, calculus, or yung tartar nga po kung tawagin natin. Sila lang din po yung makakapag-assess and makakapagbigay ng advices for the best treatment plan for you. Dentists can also teach you how to properly brush your teeth. Because number two, proper and effective tooth brushing is very important. Pwede pong may toothbrush kayo every day or twice a day, but the question is, are you doing it correctly? These are the rules in tooth brushing. Number one, use a soft bristled toothbrush or an electric toothbrush and not the hard ones. Toothbrushes with hard bristles are so stiff that it can be bent or move against your tooth surfaces. So, ang tendency po, it may cause abrasion that will lead to sensitivity or pangingilo over time. Number two, use a 45 degree or pass technique in toothbrushing. This is a combination of a circular and horizontal technique. Circular is the simplest but it is the least effective. Horizontal brushing naman po ang pinakakoma natin ginagawa. So, the proper way to brush your teeth is tilt your toothbrush to 45 degrees back and forth with a gentle pressure. Brush all sides of your teeth, the facial, chewing surfaces, and for the inside of your teeth, brush vertically with up and down strokes. Number three, don't forget to brush your tongue with your toothbrush or you can use a tongue scraper. This is to remove the bacteria po sa ating mga dila and to keep your breath fresh. Number four, ito po yung lagi nating nakakalimutan. You should brush your teeth strictly for two minutes twice a day. So lagi niyo pong tandaan, two minutes twice a day. Hindi po totoo yung kakanta ka ng happy birthday because for me, it is shorter like it will not last for two minutes, maybe less than one minute only. So to make sure, you can use a timer. And meron po tayo mga apps sa cellphone na pwede natin i-download will help us to brush our teeth effectively. And meron din pong timer for two minutes. In toothbrushing, take your time. Huwag po tayo magmadali. Number five, use a fluoride toothpaste and just put a pea size of it on the toothbrush. Hindi po totoo yung mga nasa commercial na nakikita natin na pupunoyin po natin ng toothpaste yung ating mga toothbrush. Replace your toothbrush every 3 months. Or kapag po nakita natin na ganito na yung itsura ng ating mga toothbrush, pwede na po natin itapon ito because this is not effective anymore. And number 7, always remember that don't rinse after toothbrushing. Also wait for 30 minutes before you brush after a meal. Number three, you should also floss every day. Once a day, I suggest every evening. So you can remove those food stuck in between your teeth before slipping. You can use a regular floss, a floss pick, ergonomic floss, or a water pick. To cut the right length of floss, just pull it up to your elbow. This is approximately 18 centimeters, enough to floss your teeth using your thumb. Mahalaga po ang flossing because hindi naman po natatanggal ng mga toothbrush or hindi naaabot ng mga toothbrush yung mga tinga nga po natin in between our teeth. Number four, use a fluoride mouthwash. You can use it from time to time but always remember that don't use it after toothbrushing. If you will use a mouthwash after toothbrushing, you will just rinse or wash off the fluoride from the toothpaste that you used. Mouthwash also reduces the bacteria inside our mouth, so it is also very helpful. Number five, avoid foods high in sugar and carbohydrates. Like what I said in my first dental video, carbohydrates feed the bacteria in our mouth. 
So they will produce acid and it will cause cavities. Same with avoid eating sticky foods like caramels, toffee, raisins, candies, and chocolates. Number six, iwasan po natin yung pagkain ng mga matitigas na pagkain like pistachios, hard taco shells, chicharon, butong pakwan, yung mga matitigas pong kagate na it may cause fracture or it may chip your tooth because pwede pong pag nangyari yun, mangilupo kayo or worst case scenario, you will be needing root canal treatment. Kapag po hindi na masave yung tooth, it may lead to extraction also. Number seven, avoid eating or drinking extreme hot and cold food and beverages because yung ating nipin po will go through a lot of expansion and contraction kapag bulagi natin tong ginagawa. And it will also cause sensitivity or even pain over time. Kapag po kasi sobrang lamig or sobrang init, like kapag po kumakain tayo ng ice cream or imiinom ng mainit na mainit na kape, it is causing small small cracks from our teeth. So, dun po pumapasok or nagsisip through yung mga kinakain natin. Kaya po nagiging mangilo or painful na kasi nakakapasok na po sa ngipin natin. Number eight, limit your intake of drinks or colored drinks like coffee, tea, or red wine. I am not telling you that you should stop drinking it because I also love tea, but I'm saying that you should limit the times that you're doing it or drinking it because it may stain your teeth and it will be hard for a dentist to remove it if over time hindi po kayo magpalinis ng pen. My advice is always drink water after drinking it and properly brush your teeth at the end of the day. Number nine, avoid bad habits like biting your nails, biting a pen or a pencil, opening a bottle or a bag of chips using your teeth. It may damage your tooth. Pwede din pong mabasag yung ating mga ngipin kapag po lagi natin itong ginagawa. And sometimes po nagkakos po ng cracks or fracture because of the pressure that we're using. And kapag po nag-chip off yung ngipin natin or nabasag, pwede pong ma-expose yung inside part ng ngipin natin. Magiging mangilo or worst case scenario, sobrang sakit. And number 10, this is the one thing that you should really stop doing. Madaming magagalit sa akin, but you should stop smoking. Hindi na po yung ngipin natin yung maapektuhan, yung atin din pong baga or lungs. Papansin nyo po, yung mga smokers, nagsistain din po yung sigarilyo or yung nicotine sa ating mga gilagid. Usually, smokers don't experience beating of their gums. Ang madalas po namin nakikita sa kanila ay they have deep pockets. This is a sign that they have periodontitis because eventually kapag po smoker ka or especially if you're a hard smoker, it will lead to a gum disease called periodontitis. Maybe you heard about gingivitis, pero yung gingivitis po pamamagalang ng ating mga gilagid. Mas malala po yung periodontitis. Ibig sabihin, mas malalim na po yung mga pockets natin sa ating mga gilagid. And to avoid having periodontitis or even gingivitis, this kind of gum diseases, we need to take care of our teeth. Malaki po ang nagiging epekto kapag tayo ay naninigarilyo. Hindi lang po sa ating mga ngipin. Pwede po tayong magkasakit sa bibig. Like sa ating mga ngalangala, we can have nicotinic stomatitis, we can have cancer, mouth cancer. So madami po pwedeng mangyari. And sa umpisa pa lang kapag inalagaan na natin yung ating mga ngipin, yung ating oral health, malaking tulong po siya sa ating pangangatawan at sa ating buong kalusugan. So again, to have a better oral health, you should first visit your dentist regularly, brush your teeth properly and effectively, floss once a day, use a mouthwash from time to time, avoid foods high in sugar and carbohydrates, Avoid eating hard foods. Avoid eating or drinking extreme hot and cold food and beverages. Limit your intake of color drinks. Avoid your bad habits and avoid smoking. 
Aside from all of these, you should eat nutritious food and have a well-balanced diet and exercise. So that's it for today guys. I hope you apply and start practicing these dental tips and start taking care of your teeth and oral health. I hope you're all safe. Remember to always be happy. Don't forget to smile. Life is short to be sad. Just want to say hi to my friends Dr. Michelle Zasos and Dr. Ella Gafas. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Is this brave? Is this brave? Is this brave?